So, one of the founders of Joya Celebration, Pastor Jabo Shongwani, has actually come out to speak about something that's something that's happening. It's very concerning, particularly dealing with Sangomas on the pulpit. No? And so, the Bible is always clear on the subject matter of how we should think about Scripture or the things that pertain unto God in relation to Scripture. Now, I didn't know this for the longest time, maybe even you. I didn't know that Pastor Jabut uh, was actually a pastor, like, like directly a pastor. And this is their ministry right here. You can see it on Instagram. It's called Cross Power Ministry. And so go follow, go like. Uh, there is the place where they have their church and the, the time of the service. And on this particular message right here, that's where he actually speaks about that it's confusing. Né? Because if you think about it, right, if we are really being honest, a Sangoma is known in a place like this. Numberization. As we, you know, we, that's what we call it. Numberization. We are known for numberization and all that kind of stuff. When a Sangoma now stands on the pulpit. It creates all kinds of confusion. And this is the thing that he was kind of pointing out. To say, we have a problem. It's confusing. It's becoming confusing. And I wanted to play you a piece of that particular message on that video that I showed you a little bit earlier on. It's the reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. Yeah, like I said, I didn't know he was a pastor. <laughs> I, thought, I just thought of him as a um, musician, but I had heard this term, pastor, related to him. And I thought, okay, Solim, Solim Asangu was a gospel musician and also a pastor. He's also a pastor. I just, I was not sure. And so, very interesting message that he was preaching. Around 25, the 25 mark of that message, this is what he was saying. That he mentioned that. He had a, 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 a wound on his leg. And the doctor said they're going to amputate the wound, the, the leg. Mm -hmm. And then until he went to a, a traditional healer who, who gave him something that healed. He's talking about Tabiso, the story of Tabiso. He healed, he healed the wound. Now his leg is not amputated. Mm -hmm. So that, that opened the door for him to go out of my circle. Hallelujah. But I'm not talking about the fact that he fixed as a fixer. I'm not talking about the it's it where I come from, it's him. Imitate Sinto, it's all. Hallelujah. Maribit is you who I see so. Hallelujah. So, Maria, and the one like the which was seen to corner, we are corner, Uti. I went there reluctantly because I knew what the bathroom is that we do. My friend, my sister. Then there's a dilemma. We need, listen to me, we, we want to learn in this church for our name. We're going to learn, we're going to hold deep. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Suppose we're going to say, 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 we are going to say we are going to say we are going to when they came and said everything that we are as black people is demonic, that was not the truth. <laughs> the many things that as black people were godly even, but it was criticized. Mm. Hallelujah. Then it left us with the confusion. Mm. We need to learn, Pastor to, 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 to go deeper in the word of God so that nothing confuses us. Listen to me. Sometimes you get into a space, he got into that space. It's the space, it's the space that counts. Né? He got into the space, and the space led him to becoming a Sangoma and use it in it. It graduates into Munyo Abe, and let's say, do of another, do of another, and doing all kinds of stuff. Even, but it's, it's called a portal. Hallelujah. So it's important for you to, to even go to an extent of knowing this, what, what portal. Am I triggered as a child of God? Because there are other things that are not sinful, but they are portals that will lead you to a place where there's no return. 
Hallelujah. You, you get into a rabbit hole because you die upon the wrong. That's where the Holy Spirit comes in. Amen. The Holy Spirit will come and tell you, this is not sinful, this is not, but the Spirit of God will tell you, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Holy Spirit, this is for our joy. Joy is it, it's not bad. And the Spirit of God will say, don't do it. Why? Because He knows. Even though it's not sinful, when you do it, it will lead you to other things that will put you in a point of no return. It opens a portal. You cannot have a relationship with God with your little mind. Your mind cannot contain because God deals with you from eternity. You are sitting in time. He deals with you from eternity. Now eternity is over there and over there. Eternity is where God is to where God is. Hallelujah. So when you are walking in time, when he tells you no, he knows what's going on down there. When you know only here where you are. And God knows what is going on down there. You know, there is something that he mentioned there that I thought was quite an interesting one. This is this is this this confusion that has now come over the church. People have opened portals that graduate them into a certain mindset, into certain things that they might have thought was not even possible. Jesus uh, was uh, God's type. God gave Jesus. Uh, it's about him. for him to go out of his circle. In a space that is so confusing. This part. That is why you find churches that have pastors who are pastors and they are Sangomas and Inya. So now I know we are saying that our sins were in. Now, let's be let's be very clear about what is just said. I thought that was quite an interesting point. And he said, um, there are people who are in a church where the pastor is a sangoma. And then also, he's a pastor. So he's a pastor and he's a sango. So when you get help, where did you get the help? Was it from Ubungoma or was it from God, whom he claims as a, as a title when he stands on the pulpit? Yeah? Yes. We don't hate the people. The doctrine leads somewhere. It goes contrary to God. And the question he's simply asking is, when that pastor helps you, the question is, who helped you? Do you have a clarity of doctrine to a point where you can actually clarify who helped you? Is there actually show with the daily Christian commentary? It's confusing. It's confusion. Okay, because Esangoma deals with very dark arts. Deal now, notice there's, there's that point that he was actually talking about, about the herbs be being just about the same with the modern medicine, right? And so there is, and also, I think we once made an episode where we spoke about this thing of, uh, I think in African traditions, they call it ukeitla. Ukeitla. I, I didn't know it for the longest time. <laughs> you heard about it. Not uh, not so long ago, where a person is taught medicines from herbs to know that this one can help this, this can help this, this can help this. Just about the same thing with pharmacia, with, with medicines. Right? It's just about the same. But then the arts of Ubungoma. It's a completely different thing. They made it a package and said, this is what you are selling. So they demonized everything. But then, if you think about how we get medicines for our headaches and whatnot, yeah, it came from those things. And so, what he's stating here, very important. It becomes confusing. And the Bible is very clear. God is not an author of confusion. God is not an author of confusion. Very interesting. So, you can check him out on uh, Cross Power Ministries on Instagram and uh, as you can see the address of their church is over there if you are in the south of Joburg or if you are in Joburg 
there is a place where you can go. You know, I ah, know even the music is pumping. <laughs> in the music, the music is on point. <laughs> Sexuality show with the daily Christian commentary videos. Confusion. That's what we don't think. They can do what they are doing because you know people are gonna believe what they believe. But at the end of the day, confusion is confusion. It's Ricky, and I'll see you on a later on episode. Y'all have a good one.